Hey guys, how's it going? I am that socially awkward gamer you probably forgot existed, otherwise known as Patty Jack. Now, you guys might know that I do a little series called Skyrim Zombie Survival, otherwise known as Sky Z. Now, every couple videos or so, I get people asking, Hey Patty, where do you get your mods? How do I install mods? Can I get mods on console? So, you know what? I just kind of said, screw it, and I'm going to make you an entire video series on how to make Skyrim more of a zombie survival type of game, or just a survival game in general. You don't have to put the zombies in. It's not required. This is going to be just as helpful to you regardless. So we're going to start off by actually explaining how to install mods, what mods are, and just answer a few questions that a lot of people have that I see all the time. So this series is going to be broken up into a few different episodes. The one you're watching right now is going to explain to you exactly what mods are and how to install them. So the next episode is going to detail kind of the primary mods that I consider to be imperative in order to make like a great survival experience in Skyrim. So if you already know the gist of modding, you're probably not going to learn a whole lot from this video. I would recommend definitely waiting until that one comes out. You can subscribe to my channel in the meantime and be notified when that video does come out. So right now I'm just going to answer a few questions that I get quite regularly because, you know, you can't really avoid them. Question number one. I have a PS3, can I get mods on this? No! No you cannot! Because consoles are consoles, they are not PCs. Developers do not allow you to edit consoles in the same manner they do PCs because that leads to pirating and lots of bad stuff. There are very few even PC games where developers willingly give you development tools to make mods. So, unless you have a PC, you cannot get mods. I'm sorry to tell you, if you're using an Xbox or a PS3 or a Wii U, whatever you're using. Question number two. I have a cracked copy of the game. Can I get mods? No. No, you cannot. It will not work, and you should go buy the full game because Bethesda deserves your money, quite frankly. Question number three. Where do I get mods? There's a couple of good places to get mods. I would recommend the Nexus forums as your first stop destination, followed by probably the Steam Workshop. The reason I say go to Nexus first is because generally they have a more hardcore modding community. So you're more likely to find well put together mods and gameplay changes and complete overhauls than you would if you were to go over onto the Steam community, which just generally has a bit of a more casual audience. That's not to say you're not going to find pretty much the same content on both, but generally people who upload onto the Nexus and then the Steam community as well will update the Nexus version first. Alright, so now I'm going to go in and show you exactly how to get mods, how to install them quickly and easily so you can just not ask me these questions anymore, please. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to NexusMods.com. This is going to be your one-stop destination for all the best mods for a variety of games other than Skyrim. You can get Skyrim mods, Oblivion mods, Morrowind, Fallout 3, New Vegas, Dragon Age, Dragon Age 2, Mountain Blade, Mountain Blade War Warband, with Fire and Sword, The Witcher, The Witcher 2, Neverwinter Nights, Neverwinter Nights 2, blah blah, you get, you get the picture. So, once you're over at NexusMods.com, you will go over to Skyrim by just clicking on the image. It's pretty simple. Alright, once you've made your way over to the home page of Skyrim Nexus Mods, you're going to want to go straight up to the top there and go to Download or Install NMM. That is the Nexus Mod Manager. It's going to help you install things quickly and easily. Once you get over there, you are just going to want to go straight to Download Now, that big green button right there. Once you download the Nexus Mod Manager, you are going to be greeted with this screen for the first time when you boot it up. What this is going to do is scan your libraries and find all of your installed games that pertain to the mod manager itself. Once you have all your games, all you have to do is click the little check mark saying, yes, I have these games, and then you just go through the X's, and then you hit OK, and you're fine. Now you see you've got a list of installed games. If you only have Skyrim, you're only going to see Skyrim. You click on it, you click. Okay, you will have to create an account with the Nexus website in order to log into the client. Once you've logged into the Nexus Mod Manager client, you will be greeted with this friendly screen here. In this screen, you will find a list of all of the plugin mods you have installed. You can check them and uncheck them in order to disable or enable them in the game. And you can go over to the mod category and view all of your mods by category themselves and install or uninstall them. Alright, that's all fine and dandy, but how do you install mods? How do you get them into your game so you can and reap the benefits of the modding community. Well, to do that, you have to go back over to SkyrimNexusMods.com, and then you can sort through and find all the mods yourself. There's a couple ways to do this. You can go down to Files here. You can go Top Files. 
You can go new files, new recently. You can search things by tags. You can go up to the search bar at the top and enter a name or a user that uploaded it. All right, so once you've found a mod that suits your needs, you can head straight over to its page and then view things like descriptions, images, videos, comments from other users, and tons of stuff. And once you're satisfied with the mod, all you have to do to download it is go download NMM, Nexus Mod Manager. Once you've decided that the mod suits your needs, all you have to do is go down to Files, and go down to Download with Manager. Alternatively, you can go up to Download NMM, but personally, I like to go and see the different files and choose one that better suits my needs. So once you've found one, in this case, the main file, you just click Download with Manager, and it will automatically download it down into your Nexus Mod Manager client. Once you've started downloading your mod, you can just head straight back over to the Nexus Mod Manager and click on the Download Manager tab at the bottom there to get a full view of all the mods you're currently downloading. You can view a variety of things, including the download speed of the file, which is extremely useful, and the estimated time that the file will be completed. As you can see, the file has now been completed. What you're gonna do now is head over to your Mod tab. Once you're at the Mod tab, you'll be able to find a handy dandy little icon that says, hey look, you've downloaded a mod to this category. You can just click right there and see exactly what category it is. It's under NPC. You can see that this is the mod we downloaded. It has an X on it because it has not been installed yet. How do we install it? Well, we click a magic little button right here. Activate the selected mod. As you can see, it says preparing mod, installing mod, and the mod has now been successfully activated. And that's it, now the mod has been installed and you are ready to play your game. As I mentioned before, you can go and check out all of your mods over on the plugins tab, and you can activate and deactivate them at your wit. Certain mods need extra scripts that Skyrim just cannot handle. So, you have to download the Skyrim Script Extender, SKSE. I will detail how to download and install that in the next episode when I go over all the primary mods required for survival. Until then, there's going to be a link down in the description that you can find and take you right over there and see if you can figure it out for yourself. Okay, so we've gone over how to do Nexus mods. What about Steam mods? They do mods too, right? I want to use Steam because it's Steam. Everyone has Steam. Well, to do that, obviously, you open up Steam. Go over to your library. You can do this another way too through the community, but quite honestly I find it easier this way. You go find the game you want, in this case Skyrim, and you can go browse the workshop, because why not? And look at this! You have an entire list of things you can download and install. And literally all you have to do is click on a mod. It'll load up. There'll be a place for videos, you can rate the mod, you can do all the Facebook stuff. And all you have to do is click subscribe. The next time you launch the game from the Steam tab, then it will automatically install your mod on the main menu screen. Once you've subscribed to your mod on Steam, it will download automatically right at the bottom here and it'll let you know when that mod is finished. If you download a Steam Workshop mod, you will have to install it by launching the game through Steam, letting it get to this title menu, and then letting the mod install. Once that's finished, you can exit, and you can just launch the game through the mod manager itself, which is very useful if you're running Skyrim Script Extender. Once you launch the game, all your mods should be successfully installed and you are ready to adventure in your new and improved Skyrim. It's worth noting that if you go to uninstall a mod, go check it out on the Steam Workshop and or Nexus site and make sure that there are no prerequisites that you need to follow before uninstalling it because that can screw your game up. Also be warned that by uninstalling a mod, you will take that content out of your game, which can lead to crashes. And you should also avoid downloading mods that modify the same files. If you download two EMB mods, you are sure to screw your game up royally. So be sure that when you install or uninstall mods, you are doing so correctly and safely in order to save the integrity of your game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and you learned something about installing mods if you didn't already know. Keep an eye out for the next episode where I go over all the primary mods that you must have in order to make a great survival experience in Skyrim. I hope you guys will stick around, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with everyone because I want to get this out there to as many people as possible. And please go over and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love you forever and you will be notified whenever the next episode goes online. I've been Patty Jack and I hope to see you guys next time. Peace off.